Hello friends, in today's session we are going to discuss about the simulation data inspector. It is one of the beautiful feature provided by the MATLAB to inspect the input and output signal or a data. Uh, to use this simulation data inspector, I am just having a simple counter. It consists of input, addition, block, unit delay and output which is given by the sc scope. I will just run simulation here you can observe we are having the input as a 1 ok output as a 1 it varies gradually by 1 ok now as I want to use this simulation data inspector I will select the system I will go to the stream selected signal to data inspector you can observe this visualize signal in front of every block. Run the simulation. We can observe the output. Here the simulation data inspector block it is the it is got highlighted. Click on it. You can observe the window of this simulation data inspector. So, the count one it is name of my simulation and run one it is the first run. Now, as I'm having output of this add block, I will analyze. I will inspect the output signal of this addition block. So here you can observe the addition signal of this output block if you want to change the color you can just click on it and you can change the color of this signal if you want to inspect another signal let us consider we are having a uh, unit delay okay so uh, if you want to inspect this unit delay I will just click on the unit delay and the output of this unit delay it is shown by this blue line here you can change the subplots okay as right now I just want a simple single plot I will set it to the one we can set it to the two okay we can add another signal, the second signal to the second block. Then we are having this data codes. So just click on this data codes. Oh, sorry, data cursor. So just move it and you can compare the data. Okay, you can compare data as if I want to check the origin of the signal add one okay just right click on highlight in model and we can observe this signal it is highlighted by yellow color okay let's get out of this I can go to there okay if you want to delete the system just delete press delete button and you just clear it okay so for this count one I'm having the input one now I will change my input to five again I will run the system now when I have simulated the system okay so my count run is 3 we can observe the output of both the signal so this 
it start with the five okay we can inspect so the count sorry run three it starts at five okay while this run one it starts at one and it will gradually increase okay so these are the two signals which we can observe or monitor or inspect now as i want to compare these two signals just go to the comparison select we are having a run one and run two okay so we'll just compare two signals okay so here we are having the add one of run one and add one of run three okay and you can observe the difference of this signal on the screen okay so it is the output of add one of run three and add one of run one we can we can use data cursor to again inspect the data you can observe the difference between these two okay well at initial stage we are having the output as a five and one and the difference of these two is four now again move this data cursor again we can move this data cursor we can observe we can inspect signal okay again go to the run if you want to check again the highlight signal okay we can go to this okay and we can observe if you want to check the unit ticket we can check we had one unit and we can check the output of unit data. Okay, so this is how, my dear friends, we can use this data inspector to inspect the input and output signal in simulation. Thank you.